For the past few weeks, we've been looking at the wonderful world of Parallax on the web. Parallax on the web. First, we defined what Parallax is. Then we looked at a whole slew of examples online. We then started to get our hands on and build out our own samples. Here's where we are at the moment. We created this awesome mock-up of a clothing store called Blackbird. We created the header using a technique that I call fixed background moving elements. In the next video, we created an effect that I call landing elements. We listened for a certain point in the scrolling page and we would fire off all these thumbnails which float in and land in our layout. Let's continue with this mock-up project. Today I want to show you a simple yet powerful way to display large images in a scrolling web page. In the video you're about to watch, I end up naming this style Periscope. It's pretty fun, huh? Well, code for this project is on GitHub. Links are in the description. Let's get started. Okay, so I have another like paragraph and a headline here at the bottom of this. I'll do another special div here and I'll call it large window. And in that large window, I'll go to the bottom of my SAS and I'll say large window. And I'll say large window, show me what you got. Uh, how about height? It's like 400 pixels. And background is going to be um, the image. URL images slash what's his face? <laughs> it's images slash model one dot JPEG. Yep. Position top center. Repeat no repeat. And then, and then for the secret sauce, we'll do use this this uh, attachment property again. A T T A C meant um, fixed. Now let me show you what we got. What we got. What we got. Oh, hello. Okay, so now our box is. Is looks it looks kind of like a uh, like a like a um, what's it called like an opening like a window in the web page and we're seeing a background and this dude's just modeling off these like really fly sweater here I want number what was the guy who looks like he zoomed out a lot number two this guy is less zoomed in so you can see his feet at the bottom. You could see his whole torso and his face. So this is cool, right? It's like this little scrolling window. The truth is, it's just like a little 400 pixel tall div, but the background is fixed, so it makes it look like, oh, what is actually happening here? It looks like there's the images moving behind. It looks like there's like a, you're peeking through a hole in, um, you're like peeking through a hole in, uh, in the, um, in the in the web page, I just had an idea. That's why I like stopped. I was like, uh, uh, uh. what if I did this? Um, actually, let's move this down. Move this down from that thing above it. Okay. Um, what if I did? I just this is really weird. Border radius is fifty percent. Border dash radius. What is the height of, what's the width of this thing? The width is good, 640. Okay, so let's make the height 640, not 400. So we can get a square, or a circle. Is this cool? Is this a cool idea? Oh, look at that. <laughs> it is a cool idea. <laughs> I love it. So like, Check this out, you're like hovering over this grid, I want to click on some of these, buy some things, scroll down more, and this circle of like, looks like a periscope. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. All right, that was just a really quick tutorial, uh, just like a really quick effect I thought of when I was making these other things. You know, I think there's some more we can do with this. You want to, do some, you want to see some more next week? You want to? You want to? You want to? <laughs> All right. I love this periscope. Oh my gosh, it's so amazing. <laughs> nice, nice. Good work. Thanks. What a fun and easy thing to do. I love that it's so 
impactful, yet simple to execute. I have a few ideas that we can use to enhance this little feature, but that's it for tonight. This video was made possible by these lovely patrons. You've heard me talk about what's going on in the patron community before. It's really awesome and I want you to join us. So the link for that is in the description below. Well, that's it for tonight. Keep on hacking.